it takes a long time to build a really strong research organization and 10, 20 years. And the, um, uh, it's, it's all about people and the management of researchers. And if you look back, Intel, gosh, would have been in the 90s. I remember Craig Barrett started to worry about research at Intel, because re Intel never did research in the old days. You know, they did development. And, uh, the, uh, and it was really close in, you know, make a product. You know, we know what the market is, make a product. So there wasn't research. And in those days, it worked because there were these free, uh, uh, richer neighbors called AT&T, Bell Labs, and IBM that did really great research and were just throwing it out there all the time. And so the, uh, um, the semiconductor industry was really benefiting from that. Well, starting in the 90s, they started to go away. And uh, AT&T completely disappeared off the map. And, and uh, IBM, uh, it wasn't clear if they were, were, were going to disappear off the map. Fortunately, they didn't. But, you know, Barrett was looking way out there and, uh, you know, classic Intel fashion, thinking about the business 20 years from now, not, not next year or the year after. And so Intel started to build a really solid research capability back then. And it's, it really pays off today because in those days, Intel was, you could actually argue Intel was probably behind the leading edge of the semiconductor technology. And today they're a full load ahead. And it was really in the 90s and the 2000s that Intel started to clock faster than anybody else. And that's how they got ahead. And it's really, at the end of the day, it's having just a solid research team. and. Uh, and you just can't go hire those people and put them together and then expect them to work together as a research team. So it's not just having the people, but it's also having people that work together, knowing how to manage a research team and really get the return out of the, the dollars you're putting into research. Well, a lot of it is just to get to the next product or get you know the basic process technology to get to the next node and let the environment deal with the longer term. And the idea was is that you could, if I looked out 20 years from now and said, where do I want to be product wise, I could then figure out what do I need to do to get from today to that 20 years? What technologies do I need? What do I need to be looking at? And, and that was really the, the, the thing that I think led to a lot of Intel success today. The, the other companies just don't, you know, the, uh, especially the foundries, they just don't do that kind of perspective. With the exception of the Common Platform, I mean the Common Platform is a very strong research organization and uh, they're pretty well known for what they've done and, and in fact they were the uh, first ones outside of Intel to have working high-key metal gate products in the market. 